Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at cross-site request forgery. In this section, we'll explain what cross-site request forgery is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is cross-site request forgery, or CSRF? A CSRF occurs when a third party is able to trick a user's web browser into performing actions on a site where the user is currently authenticated. What causes a cross-site request forgery? A CSRF happens when a web application with predictable input fields does not check if the actions that are coming from a user's browser were actually intended by the user. To understand the cross-site request forgery vulnerability, let's look at some examples. In this first example, a victim is logged into a banking site and a cookie for bank.com is set in the browser. The connection is secure. Without logging out, the victim browses into an attacker-controlled site that contains a malicious script. The browser inadvertently executes a request to the banking site, which will transfer money to the attacker's account. The stored cookie for the domain bank.com is automatically attached. So the malicious request using the victim's current session is seen as valid by bank.com. The bank transfers the money from the victim to the attacker's account. Not a good scenario. In the next example, a victim is logged into an e-commerce site and a cookie for eShop.com is set in the browser. The connection is secure. Without logging out, the victim browses to an attacker-controlled site that contains a malicious script. Unbeknownst to the victim, the script executes a request to the e-commerce site from the victim's browser. In this example, buying a new fridge. The stored cookie for domain eShop.com is automatically attached by the browser. The malicious request, using the victim's current session, is seen as valid by eShop.com. The fridge is added to the victim's shopping basket. If he doesn't pay attention, the victim will now inadvertently buy the fridge. Cross-site request forgery can have significant impacts. The impact of a successful attack depends on the functionality of the application and on what an authenticated victim is allowed to do. Some examples include changing a password, purchasing items, transferring funds or posting a message. A successful attack could result in fraudulent transactions leading to repudiation issues, reputation and financial damage. Accounts could be compromised leading to account theft and privacy violation. A hijacked administrator account could even compromise the entire application and make the site unreachable, again resulting in customer loss, reputation damage and revenue loss. To prevent cross-site request forgery, developers should ensure state-changing actions are protected with a CSRF token. This token is a long unique and random value that is linked to the user in session and often provided by the programming framework. It should be added as a hidden field to forms and checked by the server when submitted. Alternatively, implement challenge response mechanisms for sensitive operations. These can include captures, one-time passwords or re-authentication. And finally, validate that requests were intended by the user. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Cross-Site Request Forgery.